What's everybody up? Blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. What's up, everybody? My name is Zach, and this is the Micro Homestead Ecology Channel. Thank you for joining us today. We're debating this rainwater catchment system that I keep mentally processing here coming off of our DIY greenhouse. So let me show you what we did last night to try to wrap our heads around how much water is coming off of this thing and what it's making me think as I start to try to plan what this could look like, how the system could go together, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's go see what's in those buckets. This is our greenhouse. It's about 16 feet along the back. And it's about eight, well, that's four, eight. It's about 10 feet-ish across this front side. This is the west side. It's a little bit further extended out there. So I've been experimenting with rainwater catchment. We had a, not a major storm, but a decent little rain came through late last night throughout the evening. And so I set these buckets out here and all that it was catching was the drips off of this roof. And I want you to look at how much we caught. Okay, so those are like five gallon buckets. So there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I probably could have snuck one more bucket in there. So I could have caught 35 gallons last night just off of this section of the roof alone. So I'm at 30 there. That's a really tall bucket. So there's another, what, I don't know, eight gallons there. But room for at least one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, six, maybe seven more. So at five gallons a piece, add seven to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 15 times five is what? That's, 50, that's 75 gallons. Like I could have caught close to 75 gallons last night if I had a system set up now why do i keep doing this because this is not the first video i've posted on this well i'm debating you know what sort of gutter system we put here but my ultimate question is like how much can this roof catch right so i keep experimenting with all of these buckets and getting my head wrapped around like okay if it'll catch this much water from a single rainstorm then how big of a reservoir and where do I need to put it? Because I don't think what I have in place right now is sufficient. Let's go take a look. Okay. So welcome to plant heaven. We're in the middle of project mode too. So there's a few things in here that are going crazy. Actually feels kind of like I should open up the window. But my initial thought process was to run some sort of you know, gutter system on the outside and then punch it through, I don't know, behind that fan or over there somewhere and run it down here into like a garbage can, which is where I've been dumping those buckets for right now so that I can hold it in here. The problem is that's not very much water and I don't really have the footprint in here. You can see that we're using up a lot of this space for plants, these two doors open all the way to that post that's behind that lettuce basket and all the way to here. That's where we clip it to hold it open. And so I don't really have any room there. So I'm kind of debating. I would love to know what you guys think. What I'm honestly kind of half debating is two things right now. Number one, I'm debating moving this shelf somewhere else and like stacking up three or four garbage cans like I have here, somehow connecting them with some pipes so that we can drain all of those. I could put something like this over top of them or just build a shelf over top of them and still maintain at least this top shelf space. I would lose that down there. So that's option number one, which I'm kind of thinking it actually sounds pretty good while I'm explaining it to you guys, but let's go outside and look at the other option that I'm debating. So my other option that I'm debating is I've got some more weed barrier to cover all of this and level all this up and make this look nice. What if we put something out here? 
along the front in this little space. And we could even potentially make it decorative so that there was like, I don't know, like a long stock tank or something out here that would potentially hold a lot of water. We could maybe even put aquatic plants in it or something like that and have kind of a little water feature. And then when the tanks filled up, it would overflow somewhere around the wall there, come out into the stock tank here. We'd catch even more water here, have a little water feature, and then we could overflow that out and into the grass. Ooh, that could be fun. I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. Drop down in the comment section. What would you do? Would you do one? Would you do both? Would you do one or the other? Like, would you just have the, the tank outside in the front and not even do the tanks on the inside? Leave that open. Right now, trying to have the conversation with all of you and just thinking out loud, which I love doing, by the way. So please give me the feedback of what you think about those ideas. I can kind of see those, you know, the right set of garbage cans lined up on that inside wall. Nice drain system on the inside, overflow into the tank, out front, have a little water garden, maybe some water lilies, a little cattails or something. I don't know. I don't know if I can talk the boss into that, but the concept is solid. And then that moves the drain point away from any of the foundations or anything like this, because then we can overflow it out into the yard, which is starting to sound really good to me. Even if I don't put the tank in the front, I will probably run the overflow out that wall and then all the way down behind me to the end just to keep the water from being anywhere near the posts and beams and things that are holding that up. Um, yeah, huh, I don't know. That sounds kind of exciting. So anyway, let me know what you think. Sounds like it could be fun to have some ideas online here with everybody. And if you're into this sort of content, you know, check out our channel you might consider subscribing and all that sort of fun stuff give it a thumbs up you know the deal because that's awesome if you're into this kind of content you'll probably like this video right here we'll see you there